honestly, like, I know what I have to do. It's just, I can't figure out what to niche down on because I like so many things. I like fashion. I like Hey, guys. Welcome to the Astrid Show coffee Starbucks edition in the mall with the automobile services because on this episode we're gonna call you guys up and answer your deepest darkest questions on social media but I'm like literally just having the best day ever we're gonna call you guys up if you're new to this channel hi my name's Jade I, I typically I'm not this unprepared trust me check out a few other episodes this is episode eight so, hi this is Jade you're on the ask Jade show Hey, what's up, yo? How's your day going? <laughs> oh my god, it's been crazy. I'm in literally an automobile shop. My car stopped working. So, how can I help you today? Hey, hey, one question. Do you like pineapple or mango better? What's that? Do you like pineapple or mango better? Oh, dude, uh, mangoes. What What the heck? For sure, mango. What's your name? Where are you from? Well, I have five names because people give me nicknames all the time. I have Moose, Mufasa, Moses, Mooka Man, but my real name's Musa. Okay. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, both in California. Sweet, Musa, how can I help you? What is your problem? Honestly, like, I know what I have to do. It's just, I can't figure out what to niche down on because I like so many things. I like fashion, I like health, I like business. I like talking about, I don't know, basket. Like, there's so many things I like. I, I don't know what to niche down on, you know? If you go on my YouTube, like, most of my videos, I like, I like vlogs, I like filmmaking. It's like, I can't pick one thing. How about this? I have a good, I have a good little uh, f- narrow down question to ask you. What do you think you're most relatable? Like, which one is not like necessarily the one you're best at, but the one you're most relatable to? So, if you had to say, are you just really relatable? Like, you know, who's your audience? Like, are you on an Instagram blogger? Like, what's your trying to, like, are you trying to make? What are you trying to do? What's your goal? Okay, my long term goal is to have a life that will have freedom for a possible business so then I could pursue acting and filmmaking full-time in LA but I don't want to move to LA like you know being like a struggling artist and not have like some stable income coming <laughs> yeah, in yeah. you know what I mean right so right. that's my long term oh so you just want to make a financial vehicle to just make to pursue your real career which is an acting right yes exactly so so that that Okay, so now you need to pick something that makes money, right? Do you know what makes money the most for you? Yeah. Do you know what makes money the most right now for you? Oh, oh um, right now, I, I started my digital agency. I've just been kind of slacking on it. But that's, that's what I'm leaning towards because, as you know, you don't need much startup capital for it. Right. And, like, it can open up other doors. So I don't have to do that front. I just I don't know what to do for my personal brand. That's what I'm, like, kind of confused on. So this is the thing. Well, like, can I ask you, like, are you working like a part-time job to pay for your bills right now, or are you a student? Like, what's your financial situation now to get to you to LA? Right now, I'm I'm pretty broke, but I do DoorDash and I'm saving up from that. And then I'm a college student. My parents are paying for pretty much everything because I'm just a spoiled rich kid. Oh, uh, got yeah. it. So, like, you have like a little safety net if you go to LA, and then you know your parents will catch you. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, they probably would. They probably would. <laughs> okay, college. so here's the thing. When you start a personal brand, don't monetize it yet. You know my little spiel, like content distribution. Hold off till you monetize because the moment you sell someone, oh, yeah, yeah, right, I'm right, so... Right, so don't, I wouldn't actually, like, when you pick a niche, like, you're going to basically do the following. Like, when you narrow down, try to get the attention of the audience, it's going to, you're not going to make any money from it, like, for the next five, four years. So I would stick to, you know, SMMA to make just a little bit of side cash or just get a part-time job. But let's talk about niching down because it sounds like you have a cool story. Like, to be honest, your niche or your audience is, like, your message. So maybe you're most relatable to people who are also starving artists moving to a big city that could be your niche and you can go over any topic so it doesn't even have to be an industry it could be your message right like what do you think about that interesting yeah i'm just telling my story and like what i'm going right like sometimes if you really can't pick down something because you're multi because i have a i have so much empathy because i feel like i'm also multi-talented i'm like man like i could literally be a singer if i want so i always recommend if you can't niche down in an industry niche down in your message and i guess who you appeal to so from now i feel like maybe your personal brand can be also your story about being not a starving artist and you just talk about everything in regards to getting income and your smma and fashion and what you wear that's a whole niche too so I could, I could still do all that stuff. But I remember you saying like to focus on one thing because then people would be like, oh, I don't know, 
Like, they won't stick, and, like, uh, I remember, I have one of your videos, mm-hmm. I saw that. Yes, yes. I recommend that when people figure it out. You haven't even figured out what you really want to do. Like, maybe you freaking don't even know. So, like, in that case, when you're not ready, you can't really be... Okay, this is the thing. I have a problem with people that act like they know this shit, and they pick an industry, and, like, okay, now I'm the, I am the fashion blogger, and they just become pretentious. It's like being a 16-year-old life coach. Like, that's why I really don't want to become one of those people that act like they know everything. So if you don't know everything, just become your little uh, confused self. And that's a, that's a good niche, too, because you're most relatable to those people. Okay? Sounds good, Jay. Have Thank you. Day. Have your mom and your life. <laughs> she says, hey, bye. Thanks, Star Nation. You guys make me feel so much better. Shout out to the car winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you're so far enjoying me and just being unprepared at Starbucks, um, you guys can just like this video and subscribe. I don't even want you to subscribe if you don't want to grow on social media. But if you do, subscribe. Uh, the Darmination has your back all the time.